Hey guys, so I'm back with uh, Chance Lounge and today we're going to be discussing winter boots. We got four different types of boots here today. Two that are a little more formal and less winter resistant, I would say. And then two that are a little more durable. So right here we have uh, your more outdoors boots, your boots that you can wear every day. Uh, they're two different styles. They have, uh, these are by Wolverine, 1,000 mile. Guaranteed to go 1,000 mile on these bad boys. Uh, these are not as dressy as, uh, as the ones on the, on the left, but you know, you still can dress them up, dress them down. More than these, I would say, yeah. as well. I say these are like your snowball fight boots. These are, you, yeah. want, you know, you're going out in the snow and you're going sled riding. These are the boots that are going to make it and keep your feet actually warm and yeah, so in on my on my recent trip to uh, the Midwest, I actually wore these, and it was it was pretty cold for us alley guys. It was about <laughs> 50 degrees, 40 degrees, which was it was, it was freezing for me. But uh, they came in handy. They were comfortable. Uh, they got the job done. They, and you know the the red laces really contrasts if you're wearing like a blue uh, blazer or a blue coat or a pea coat. You know it looks fantastic. And then these these over here are going to be less durable, less winter resistant, like they're not going to keep your feet warm. So if you actually live in a place where it's cold, probably wool socks are going to be very recommended for these two, but they do look yeah. really great. Badass. You, so, you're going to look like a boss in these. Right. I mean, these are, these are like you go from your house to your car to wherever you're going out to. You're not walking around the streets with in these so much because your feet are going to be cold. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm going to tell you what, but you're going to look freaking great. So, I mean, another thing that we recommend when, when purchasing boots is uh, you want to get a, a boot that has a nice, like a rubber sole. It's something that you can wear, you know, indoors and outdoors, but mostly outdoors. Even the, the nicer the boot, you still have to have a rubber sole. Um, with, with your brogue, you, you would want to stay with that nice uh, leather sole, but... Right, I mean, with boots, because it's, it's, a, it's a winter it's thing, a boot, yeah. it's like you want to wear it in weather, and a leather sole in rain or snow is not going to hold up, and it's probably going to wear down very fast and leather yeah. gets wet. And then it's going to force you to have to resole it. Right. So, yeah, if you're, I mean, leather sole boots are like a summer spring thing. And definitely if you want a good winter boot, you make sure it has a rubber sole. I mean, granted, it's not as what formal or as classy considered, but it's a boot. It's, it's, a boot, it's yeah. going to be durable and it's going to last you a lot longer. So, so the, the three things that we recommend when purchasing boots are First and foremost, the style, the durability. You want to make sure that they can go in and out, and the comfort. You know, it, it, it has to be comfortable. Right. I mean, you don't want to walk, have your feet hurting all day walking around the boot. But I've been there. That's yeah. terrible. No, I mean, especially if you live in a cold climate, you want to make sure you have something that's going to keep you warm because frostbite is a real thing. <laughs> we just want to thank the brands for sending us these shoes that we have. We want to thank Wolverine, Dr. Scholes, Andre Sendra, and. Uh, Gordon Rush, thank you guys for supplying us with these boots to show you guys. And um, yeah, be sure to subscribe, like us on Instagram at Gents Lounge, hashtag your pictures, hashtag Gents Lounge, and uh, show us how you're rocking your boots this winter. Thanks, guys.